In this video, we're going to look at the different levels of organization within a multicellular organism, like a human. So we'll cover the relationships between organelles, cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, and finally organisms. Let's start with organelles, which are also called subcellular structures. These are the parts that make up a cell, like the nucleus, ribosomes, and mitochondria. Each individual organelle has a specific role to play, and when combined, multiple organelles will form a single cell. Cells themselves come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes, and contain different combinations and numbers of the organelles that we just mentioned. We call the different types of cells specialized cells, and they include things like epithelial cells, muscle cells, and different types of glandular cells. Next up, we have tissues which we can describe as a group of similar cells that work together to carry out a particular function. For example, lots of epithelial cells will form epithelial tissue, which together have the function of covering the body surfaces like our skin or the inside of our intestines. Meanwhile, a lot of muscle cells will form muscle tissue, which has the function of contracting and relaxing to move different parts of our body. And lots of glandular cells will work together to form a glandular tissue, which has the role of making and secreting chemicals like enzymes and hormones. The next level is the organ, and the definition of an organ is a group of different tissues that work together to perform a particular function. So, as you can see, the definition is pretty much the same as the one for a tissue, except instead of a group of similar cells, it's a group of different tissues. So, epithelial tissue, muscular tissue, and glandular tissue may all work together to form an organ like the stomach, which in this case has the particular function of killing microorganisms and breaking down proteins. Meanwhile, different combinations of tissues might form other organs, like the pancreas or the liver. Next we have the organ system, which is just a group of organs that work together to perform a particular function. For example, the stomach, pancreas, and liver, taken together with lots of other organs, forms a digestive system, which has the role of digesting the food that we eat and absorbing nutrients. Other organ systems include the cardiovascular system and the reproductive system. Finally, you could think of the whole organism as being the highest level, with multiple organ systems working together to form the organism. One last thing I want to add before we finish is that we've only mentioned a few examples for each level, but in reality, there are loads of types of each. For example, other organs include the skin, teeth, lungs, spleen, bones, testes, and dozens more. And there are about 12 different organ systems, including the immune system, nervous system, respiratory system, endocrine system, and urinary system. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.